the life of puppies at the Jesse James compound. No, stay up there. Stay up there with your little brother. So Nash and Knox are here for this review. I just wanted to say hi. I know you guys haven't seen them in a while. <clears throat> stay. They'll just sit up there. What's going on guys and welcome back. As you can see from the intro or the title of this video, this is my review on an assault. Now I've been asked this a bunch of times and I've told you guys that I have ridden my buddy Chris's. So Chris is a very good friend of mine. He's got a 21 assault 850 with a one six track on it. So I have ridden Chris's before and didn't put a lot of time on it. So this last time that we were up, I made sure that I got some seat time on it so I could make this review. So me and Bruce have gone over the differences between an XER or a VR1 or an XC model compared to an Assault. And now, as they are extremely similar in many ways, there are some differences. Pretty much from, I would say your foot wells forward are completely the same. Even the, the tunnel and everything back is the same. The only real difference in an Assault is the rear suspension. And that is because it's an uncoupled skid. So now again, we've talked a bunch about that, but if you guys are new here and you don't know exactly what you're talking about, this is a coupler block on an XCR VR1 XC. So when this rear suspension arm moves back, it eventually comes in contact with that, which that means it's coupled. On an Assault, you don't have that. It's, it's a different rear suspension geometry. This rear shock mounts up on that front torque arm. So it does, in a way, act as a coupled skid, but it's not. there's not a coupler block stopping that suspension from going back. So uh, a lot of the difference with, with an assault, and that's why people say that they're, they're more playful, is because there's nothing stopping that weight transfer from going all the way back. So if you're you know one to go off trail or whatever, it's gonna be you know easier to do wheelies. It's gonna be a little bit lighter in the skis. It's gonna be more playful, more fun. So um, that's normally not my cup of tea. As you guys know, I like my skis to be planted. Uh, just go backwards to the video that I just posted before that about me pulling my limiter strap tighter to put more ski pressure. Well, that's not really what an assault is made to do. A lot of guys love them for trail and they're super fast. So what makes them super fast? And I'll get into my, what I think about it, but what makes them super fast? So the angle of the track on that and the an Assault has tipped rails. So like this 136 XCR 22 has tipped rails, but they're very minimal. And Assault has like the last foot of the rail is tipped up pretty much. So it gives the track angle a really good angle. So there's not a lot of resistance. So that makes them super fast, as you saw in the beginning of this video. So Chris is on my XCR, I was on his Assault, and we've lined up before and he eats me up every single time. And I have a 135 Cobra and he has a 16 Cobra. And most of the time, he actually, he got a really good jump on me on, in that video, but normally his assault from a dead stop and then to top speed, that thing crushes me. Even when I had my sled last year with the big wheel kit and everything else, that sled still, still pulled on me, which is pretty impressive. But, so yes, an assault. A lot of guys love them. Um, a lot of bigger guys like them because they're a little bit longer, so they feel like the sled's not so tiny. Um, so I rode it last year. I only rode it for like five or six miles. And I am a good judge of, I don't want to say good judge of character. That's not the word that I'm looking for. But I can feel the way that a sled acts, you know, rather quickly. A lot of guys, when I did my links review, like, you can't tell in 30 miles. Yes, I can tell in 30 miles. So um, I rode it last year. It felt really good. The suspension on the assaults are set up a little bit stiffer. They come with 100-pound springs up front. Um, and the rear suspension, because it's an uncoupled and they it's – kind of an off trail crossover sled, it's valved a little bit stiffer. So when the bumps and everything, it, you know, it worked good. It felt good last year when I rode it and it felt good again. And this, I, once I get done with my thing, I have a little segment of me riding this sled. That's not the only thing we did. Uh, we kept switching back and forth to see what it was like, you know, going from sled to sled. And the battery down on the GoPro, I didn't know that, I thought it was good. So I only have like four or five minutes of me riding it and it, the trails were kind of flat, but we got into some bumpy stuff. So um, I did feel like, you know, feel what it was like. But anyway, um, so yeah, that's what makes an Assault different from an XCR. So what are my thoughts on it? Just like I was just saying before, suspension works really well. Uh, that's completely factory. That Bruce has not been inside those shocks. They're stock springs. I think they're set on even soft. 
That sled felt really, really, really good going through the bumps. Um, I feel like an XER should have felt like that from factory, you know, the, like the sleds that we got this year, but they weren't, they were a little bit far off. You guys know how much work we did on the suspension of this. And these work really good now, but as for a 100% stock sled, that thing was really, really good. Um, I obviously could have put more time on it to like really, really dial it in, but for a stock sled, really good. Um, Power wise, we talked about that. They're super, super fast. That thing is just a rocket ship. That's also an 850. This is an 850 uh, for you guys that don't know. The only thing, and again, I touched about this earlier, the ski lift on it is ridiculous. Not, not excessive, but they just float like eight inches above the ground and never touch. And if you guys know my riding style, I'm constantly, constantly, constantly hard, hard, hard on the throttle. So anytime I'd come out of a corner or anything, this it would just pick the skis and it would just like hover across. And you guys will see it in the video coming up that, you know, it's definitely rowdy and that's where the playfulness comes from. And again, a lot of guys love that. That is not something that I like. I mean, it is. If I could get on that thing, if I could have this sled and then an assault sitting right next to it and whatever mood I was in that day, if I wanted to go mess around and just, you know, do wheelies and ski lift and I'd grab the assault. But if I wanted to go and pound trails and pound bumps and turn when I want to, I'm obviously going to take my XCR. And honest, I mean, other than that, the sleds are, they're, they're, they're set up super, super similar. The same chassis, uh, same front end, same ergonomics, same plastic, same everything. So it's, you know, it felt like I was at home. I just, you know, you really, once you get in that throttle, the thing just picks up and it just, it, it doesn't go all the way up, but it just stays there and it just carries the skis. So again, not necessarily my cup of tea, but a lot of guys like it. I mean, I've talked to a bunch of guys who are like, I'll take an assault any day over, uh, you know, a couple XCR skid. A lot of guys want a 136 or 137 skid in an uncoupled, which who knows what'll come from the future. But I mean, the assault was nice. I liked it. I just, you know, it was too much ski lift for me. So it's definitely not my choice, obviously. Um, I would take my XCR. Chris rode my sled, absolutely loved the suspension. I thought he was going to say it was way too stiff. And he's like, you can hit absolutely anything in this. And it just eats it up and just keeps going, which is the point of what we did and, and why we put so much work in it. So here's some video of me riding it, guys. But that's, you know, kind of my gist on it. And I'll touch a little bit more on a couple things, you know, after the, the riding video.
guys, so as you can see, every single corner that I came out of that I got on the throttle, the skis just picked up and just started carrying, which again, it's cool. It's a, it's a, it's definitely a different feeling. And I have, you know, I had 900 miles on that or whatever when I did that. So to get on something that's completely different rear skid, I mean, I could feel it immediately. As soon as I got on the gas, I was like, whoa, but I mean, it worked really good. I'm, I'm proud of Polaris for putting that whole thing together uh, because they, they really hit it on the head and who knows what they're going to be for 23. Who knows what the XARs are going to be for 23. Who knows what the assaults are going to feel like, but uh, that was a 21. This is a 22. So 21 assault, they hit it out of the park. I'm uh, super proud of them for doing that, but guys, that's really my gist. Uh, too much ski lift for me. Everything else, love it. Absolutely love it. So um, that's going to do it for this video. If you guys have comments, if you guys want to discuss it down, you know, put a comment down in the comments and I'll get back to you. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. Make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.